It is vascular. Oh, no, wait! <gasps> that's not masculine! Wait a minute, that's... Nope. That, yes, hello. No, I won that! Hello, magic carp. Alright, how far... How far can I walk? That's a... That's a dolphin! No, come back! I was so close to the water, too! No! Oh, is that is that a love disc? Oh god, okay. Okay, um, um, how do, how do I do this again? ZL? Nope, never mind. Oh, it's a shelter! That's a, is that a, that's a quillfish? A love disc? Where's the dolphin Pokemon? I saw it! Okay, we're just gonna... you yes ah! hello citizen wait a minute there's a whole is Gyarados <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute panic panic oh no no what happened how did I not see it please don't come any closer I'm sorry I mean no harm oh Oh no! Oh no! What happened? Okay, um, I am really, really scared to kill it, so... Uh... Cause Nuzzle may not do a lot of damage, but Nuzzle is... Super effective. Okay, how did I not see that Gyarados? Intimidate. Okay, that's that's great. Um I want to do, do a simple one. Come here! Please stay in. Yes! Finizen! I didn't know we had a dolphin Pokemon! Nice! Oh, it's so adorable! Okay, um... So, uh... No! Go away! <gasps> oh, I did a little twirl! Okay. Okay, um... Nice. Okay, I hope this is not too high level. Okay, 22. We can we can actually do that. Whoa! I didn't expect to see you here. Um Um Okay, I'm gonna heal Cheeto just in case. I'm gonna heal Cheeto just in case. Uh, 
That's a Toxapax. Okay, what terror type are you? What's that? Oh, it's a normal terror type. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Wow, that that's level 37. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just realized. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I may have to resort resort to my own okay. Okay, Cheeto. Cheeto, I believe there's another Dirto just right behind me. Oh, Cheeto, please. I believe in you, buddy. Okay. Oh no, that didn't do anything! No! No! Ooh. Cheeto! Ooh. Cheeto! Oh my god! No! Cheeto! Oh no! Why are there so many Gyarados? Oh god, I'm so scared! Oh no. That is a huge Gyarados, I just realized. Okay, Ooh, that was all I needed. That was all I needed. It's paralyzed. Okay, oh no, I have to catch it now. Okay, um, you know what? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna just use an Ultra Ball at you. Please stay it. Yes! <laughs> oh no! I, okay, I literally, I did not even look at the level, I was just like, oh, cool, Terra Pokemon. On par with the, um, what do you call that? I, when, when I challenged the Alpha Pokemon in Legends Arceus, it was like really, really, really exciting because they're obviously a lot more higher leveled than I am. But, you know, it's like high risk, high reward sort of thing and I really really enjoy it. Oh, hey, Lucid! Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yep. Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you gotta pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Okay, so it's gonna be similar to Sword and Shield where you gotta do like some little activity before you can face the gym leader themselves. Right. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider in me healing up your Pokemon. Nice. Thank you. Ah, I'm so glad you're aiming to be the champion too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited. I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. Knock yourself out, Nimona. Welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Lucid, yes? Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Brasius, Brasius, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embody these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find Sunflora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. 
Gather up ten of them and bring them to the sunflower lawn and you pass the test. Okay. Turn right. And you'll see the two statues. Okay. Ah. Okay, so they don't just immediately teleport you or like bring you into some pocket dimension like they did with the gyms in Sword and Shield. Which is great because that didn't. I mean, it's cool and all, but that didn't really make sense. Okay, she's at the turn right. Okay, over here. Hi there, look after the artisan gym, Sun Flora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. Oh, that's really cool is a little little bar at the top. And a gym the gym theme's playing in the background as well. I guess they're just hiding all over town. Oh, okay. I see one in the distance. Well I see two of them. Right, three. Hello! Oh, there's one playing hopscotch on its own over here. Oh, yeah, there are bound to be some in the maze here. I think. Oh, there is! Right. Okay, it's on the other side. Okay. Wait. Okay, X. Okay, they did not let me move there. Okay. Uh, I I wonder if there are like more than ten, and it really just depends on which one you like, which ones you can find first. You know. Okay. How do I get out of here? Well done on finding all these sunflora, you passed the gym test of flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby at the artisan gym to report your result. Oh, okay. It seems you've successfully gathered 10 sunflora and brought them over to the sunflora lawn. That means you've cleared the gym test. Congratulations! You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck! Are you ready to challenge gym leader Brassius, the verdant virtuoso? Alright, let's do it! I wonder what level the gym leader is gonna be because that sunflower, that one sunflower I had to battle was level 13. So maybe between 13 to 15, I wanna say. Whoa! <laughs> Superhero landing! You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know? The perception you displayed in finding Sunflora was truly... Oh, how should I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. 
Enough talk, we must begin creating our collaborative work of art. I trust that you are ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. All right, let's do this. Pedalil, okay. Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else your defeat will nourish my Pokemon. Okay, so it's level 16. Right, I don't even think I need to uh, terrestrialize for this. Yeah, we're good to go. Smallest. Okay. Okay, second Pokemon down. Pseudo Wudo. Oh, that's right. Okay, we saw this in the trailer. This has promise. Yes, let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Right, okay, so. So the gym leader's ace Pokemon or final Pokemon, they're actually not of that type. So, for example, Brassius is a grass gym leader, but his ace Pseudo Wudo is normally it's a rock type. But because of terrestrialization, it actually becomes the type that the gym leader is uh, that the gym leader uses. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I will call it True Wudo. I like how the different trainers and the gym leaders also have different, I guess, animations when they're throwing out their Terra Orbs. It's unlike the gym leaders in Sword and Shield when they threw out, when they were Dynamaxing their Pokemon, the way they threw the Pokeball. Oh, and the theme is also different, but yeah, so the throwing animation is also different, and it gives each character their own personality and charm. Will Blaze. Right, right, so the Widow gets this new move. It increases its speed. Oh, oof. <laughs> oh, that is a big oof. Well, kind of brought that upon yourself, Sudo Widow, not gonna lie. Also, yeah, the OSC changed. Okay. There we go, it's the first gym done. Avant-garde. 3k in prize money. Nice. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves. The minute details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that work if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Mm. Oh, that's cool! Right, we did get a picture like this uh, when we helped out Arvin. Oh, that's amazing! Okay. If you possess one gym badge, it will be easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 25. And those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. Great! To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would like to offer this, a favorite of mine. TM20 Trailblaze. Okay, so that was what Sudo would have used just now. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell.
Okay, that was that was interesting. I like that. Oh, who's calling us? Is it Nimona? Hey, hey, Lucid! Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready! How did it go with the gym, by the way? Pass to flying colors. Yes, haha! I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats! I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, past me. I'm training hard too. By the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next. Especially in a huge place like Paldea. I mean, yeah, I, <laughs> I've been getting so sidetracked. Like, it literally took me two hours just to get from one point to finally fighting the gym like there is so much to do in this game there's so many things to explore it's amazing but yeah after all the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours hmm <laughs> speaking of going strange places i wonder what arvin's up to anyway catch you later i hope you know i'm gonna want to battle if we run into each other nice oh the list of tms has been updated okay Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? Uh, I guess so. I mean, it's on the way. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a sec. Uh... Hello? Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? The name's Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Lucid? Uh... I don't know you. <laughs> Aha! Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. Huh. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what will you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their role somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of 5 squads, and each of these squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases right now, in fact. Right. Ah yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. 
And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Lucid. They're basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. I'm sorry, isn't that sort of dangerous? Like, I mean, there's only one of me and there are five bosses and their squads with, you know, who knows how many members. Like, even if my Pokemon are strong, I... Isn't that kind of dangerous? I mean, they could literally just ambush me, you know, just in the wild and no one would know about it. Anyways, uh, so let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they'd get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Lucid. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? True. Like I said, I have a history with Team Star. And that just makes you more suspicious, I'm just saying. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as lucid support. You're a cautious one. Alright, I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Lucid. Director Clavel? Huh? Wait, what? Oh, wait, okay, hold on. Director Clavel? Oh my god! <laughs> wait a minute! Wait, I actually kind of see it. Is he wearing a wig? Oh my god. Yeah, that is. That is him. That, 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 um. Not a mustache, uh, the little, the little stubble, the beard. That is him. Oh my gosh. I did not recognize him from the start. He totally looks like a delinquent. Oh my god. I kind of wish I didn't see this now. I kind of want to bleach my eyes after this. Director Clavel. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Please put on some long pants, dude. Like, what are you doing? Uh, okay, well, I mean, if you think about it, it was uh, Director Clevo when we, when we first got that call from Cassiopeia in the cafeteria. Doctor, uh, sorry, Director Clevo happened to overhear our conversation and he sort of had, he was like contemplating at, at the end there. But yeah, okay, so I'm guessing he has some history with Team Star and then, okay, so, for Cassiopeia as well, I never mentioned this, which I was meaning to way back when, but I'm just gonna put it here. I'm just gonna include it right here, since we're on the topic. But Cassiopeia, I have a feeling, I mean, just a theory, but I'm pretty sure Cassiopeia is Penny, because out of the three rivals, I mean, we, we've seen Arvin, so Arvin has his own path, right? The Titans. We have Nimona, who is all about the gym battles and the leak. And then we have one more, I guess, 
sort of main character. You know, I mean, you can tell from just the way that they're designed that they're special. They're gonna have some plot relevance, and the only other character that we have seen who fits that description is Penny. And we've never actually—I mean, apart from the first time we saw her with the Team Star when we were helping her from Team Star. We've never actually seen her since, and she seems like a really shy character. So it makes sense that she would be communicating with us, you know, via the the Rotom phone instead of like um, face to face, right? Like with Arvin and Nimona. But yeah, it's sort of like a symbolism because if you remember when before we left the academy, you had. All three of your rivals talking to you and telling you about the three different paths that you can take in this game. So, yeah, it's just you know three paths, three rivals. The only one who was missing is this Cassiopeia, you know, and the only other special character that we've seen is Penny. So it's not strange to think that the two of them are the same person, or you know they're at least related to each other. Whoa, whoa! You can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Let's go. Oh, I really like the shades, though. Houndour. Yeah, I mean, I find it hard that hard to believe that like champion rank trainers like Nimona wouldn't have, you know, like rallied together, made their own like like special task force to try and you know solve the problem of Team Star. Like, why does it fall to us? you know, like a newly transferred student to deal with this problem that I'm guessing has been going on for quite a while now. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you the kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Lucid. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista! Hey, Lucid! Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but seems you're all set. What? Oh! Fuwu Fuwu! Hello! Is that you, Carlos? You know this little guy? I thought so. What are you doing here? Yeah, do you know this little fella? This is Carlos, the car cadet. Yeah, I've been trying to find one of you and catch one for myself. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Ah, Carlos, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Lucid. Alright. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Station inside the base is Team Star's fire crew. The Schnedar squad. Their boss, Mila, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now, her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means her best move is to take down all the guards nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mila keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Schnadar squad off the map. Okay. 
See, I'm also really curious, like, how does Cassiopeia know so much about Team Star, right? Unless she has, well, number one, unless she is part of Team Star herself, but she's trying to take down Team Star, so I don't really, I don't really get that. Or, number two, unless she has insider information, so, you know, there's like a spy uh, inside one of these squads that's like feeding her information or I mean she is a really good hacker she was able to hack our phone in the first place so it would make sense that you know she's able to sort of hack into other people's phones and sort of like eavesdrop their conversations you know kind of like uh, if you think about it Futaba from Persona 5 like she was able to do that so she can easily eavesdrop and you know, just gain information like that. That's why Cassiopeia is so knowledgeable of the Team Star. And it's not just the grunts, but even the bosses themselves. You know what? Yeah, let's go. First three Pokemon in your party, sure. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll try our best. Careful now, Lisa. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a star barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Got it. Okay. Heads up gang, some jumped up kid has just uh, has wandered in thinking she can raid our base. Clearly, she doesn't know who she's messing with. Let's teach her a lesson she won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Okay, so that's the condition for... Yeah, to fight the... to fight Mila. Okay. A vending machine. Right, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, Scarbush, no! Okay, whatever, it's fine. Okay, maybe it wasn't the best idea to bring Scaramouche into this, considering he is a, a grass type. But we'll, we'll just see how this goes. We'll just, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, we can heal up any time. Okay, so it takes turns. Right, right, right. like how they're nice enough to let us use their vending machine. Uh, you, you would think they'd be blocking it or something or they wouldn't let me use it, right? Considering I'm literally here attacking them. But eh.
Okay, so I don't necessarily have to call out all three of my Pokemon. If it's strong enough like Gaia over here, it basically works like Let's Go. When you're exploring the world itself. Okay, one more Pokemon. Oh, hello. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Oh. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Let's go! Okay! I mean, I've seen this in the trailer again, but it's still really, really cool. Like, what a way to make an entrance, am I right? I mean, like, those shoes? That outfit? That hair? Let's go, Vila! So, you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Ooh. Let's go, fighting words. Really reminds me of Guzma from Sun and Moon. The same vibes. Mila of Team Star. <clears throat> right here, right now, you're going down. Level 27, okay. Well. Hmm. Uh, okay, never mind. I'll just match shot and we'll see how this goes. Thankfully, I did do some extra training for my Pokemon. Because I don't know if these levels... Like, if it is indeed level 27 or, you know, if it's lower level. But, I mean, this is the very first Team Star base that I am fighting, so... Yeah. Oh, come on, you burned me. Really? Wow, okay. I think that's some extra line of dialogue because she managed to actually inflict the status on me. Oh, no. Okay. Wait a minute. Alright, the speed fell. Okay, and then also... I see uh, the I see a Varum on the vehicle as well that Mela is riding. Ooh. Okay. Unfortunately, it's faster than. Oh no! Oh right, I lowered its speed of much shot. Okay, that's great. Okay. So I hope this affects it. Revarum. I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. I love the fire packets. Oh! Okay, so we're fighting we're fighting the vehicle itself. Oh right. I mean it was pretty obvious considering it literally had an eye. So Oh no, wait. I don't think the toxic specs did anything. Ooh! No! Oh! Stop! Oh no! You have speed boost? Oh, come on! Mm, here, I just let- I mean, I don't think Gaia- Oh. Yeah, I mean- they just outspeed her, okay. Ooh. I probably should not have done that. Uh
Oh no. I did not have to. I could have just healed Gaia. Oh, I'm so sorry, my guy. Okay, I get one free turn. I get one free turn, it's fine. Oh, we're so close! Ugh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I could use quick attack. Uh, I'm really scared quick attack is not gonna do anything. 40, and then that's 60. Okay, never mind. I think we got this. I think we got this. Scarmouche, please. Okay. I mean to be fair, I could have I could use quick attack in the last in the next turn. Ugh, is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. Oh, these are the other leaders of Team Star. I almost said Team Skull. I managed to get a bunch of Car Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Star, the Star Mobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed, is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snipe comments. Comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mila. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What, pray, is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That cloth sire of yours really let us have it. Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. Uh... What? <laughs> what is going on in this picture? That's a really cool badge, by the way. What is... <laughs> Hello? Why does my character... Okay. While I'm at it, you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Claude Sire. Uh, I don't think Claude Sire can learn that move. I'm just saying. You got what you came for, now leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, hello, little guy. A car cadet? 
Wait. Well, if it ain't Carlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can't even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Carlos wanted to visit you? Carlos. To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You would never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. You wanna elaborate on that or...? Listen, it's me. It seems Mila no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, did she? Have it right here with me. I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Schnadar squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mila. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 5,000, okay. And I can make more TMs, cool. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machines. These new TMs should help improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. H hello I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. No, I, I remember you alright. I mean, that Eevee backpack of yours is pretty hard to miss. And pretty hard to forget either. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like someone we know of, right? So here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Nice. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of the Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you're pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Okay, well, with literally all of our team decimated, 
but to be fair, I, if I brought along like more, I did catch like some water Pokemon, so maybe uh, Gyarados, the Finizen, you know, would have had a much easier time there. But yeah, you know what? I mean, I'm all down for a challenge, and if anything, you know, that just means that the next time I do challenge another Team Star base, I should prepare myself more. A higher level Pokemon or stuff like that, so... Yeah, it's good to know. That was really fun. Um, that was a lot more challenging than the gym battle. It's a good thing, I like it. Okay. Well, I guess that's that's all there is then.